Hello, it's a blissfully warm May day. Uh, it's not nearly as hot uh, as, my, as my little t-shirt might imply, uh, but I've been working really hard uh, this morning and so I'm hot. Um, right, so I, I sat here, or I stood pretty much here uh, a few days ago uh, and talked about uh, getting some of the various different beds ready because uh, the very weedy one behind me was not going to be ready uh, to put plants in uh, anytime soon. Well, how wrong can a girl be? A couple of days ago, uh, Mr. J uh, did some weed whacking over this very, very weedy bed, uh, and the weeds were some of them were waist high. Um, I can't imagine how awful they would have been by the end of the year, but anyway. He cut the tops off them, uh, and I've left them to wilt a bit. And this morning, <laughs> I have lifted uh, all the weeds from the pathway, so I've done my, my rolling up the weeds thing, and those have all gone to the ducks. Uh, so I've cleared the pathways all around this bed. I've put the pallet collars at each end, and, and all I have now is to, to put the straight bits down the side, and then get some cardboard on it, and some wood chips on it, and then hopefully uh, that will have that covered uh, for the rest of the year. I'm very, very excited that that I've managed to get yet another bed done. It's um, sorry, I keep I keep looking over there because I, I keep thinking there's I can see someone, uh, and not at all. It's the uh, little funny scarecrow thing uh, that we were given last year. <laughs> I think perhaps I should move it because I keep thinking there's someone standing in the garden, and uh, it's only <laughs> two and a half feet high, but um, it definitely is eye catching. So it looks like I will get this bed finished today. Uh, I'm not going to work straight through until it's finished. I'm going to make sure that I uh, go inside uh, during the hottest part of the day uh, when the sun is at its fiercest because uh, there is plenty to do inside. Um, but I'm so excited to have got this much done.
I know these boards aren't level because it pretty much matches at the top there uh, and it doesn't here but I'm not going to worry about it and the main reason I'm not really going to worry about it is that at this end of the vegetable garden uh, the land slopes quite suddenly there's about a four or five inch drop uh, over the last maybe foot and a half uh, of these beds uh, along their length uh, so the beds go along and then suddenly drop down so I'm having to build up uh, at the end of each one um, and they're not they're not level and I'm not worried about it this is not a show garden uh, this is for growing our food and, and I happen to share it online uh, if it was a show garden don't know I'd be using uh, all this recycled material well I hope I would uh, but I might find something that looks a little more appealing than these pallet collars and, uh, and bits of pallet everywhere. <laughs> anyway, that is one side done. I'm going to get on with the other side and then I'm going to go and get some cardboard. So that was yesterday uh, and then this morning I've managed to get the cardboard uh, onto that raised bed. Haven't got any further with it yet, uh, but I did I get a bit further with this bed. This is the one, uh, this was our surprise raised bed uh, that we've put down in the pumpkin patch um, and my intention with this um, was to uh, just fill it up with wood chips uh, and maybe do some growing pockets in the top of it. What I actually did uh, was to put uh, a few wood chips in the bottom of it, not very many, uh, probably just a couple of inches and then uh, I put a layer of straw that in from a bale that has been uh, on our homestead for uh, well over a year uh, and it's just been sitting and quietly starting to rot down so I've spread that out uh, in the base of this uh, and then I've added a whole load of uh, the leek leaves from uh, when I lifted the leeks earlier in the week uh, and some nettles as well uh, without no flowers uh, and no roots so just the, the stems and leaves uh, so there's a nice layer of nettles in here uh, and then wood chip on top of that and that's all been really well watered in uh, for quite a long time the water was literally running out of the bottom of it so I knew it had had a really good soak uh, and then I created these planting pockets which are uh, well, uh, they're this wide. <laughs> they are holes uh, that I've then filled with compost. Uh, so this is a coir-based compost uh, with some John Innes in it as well uh, for a, have a bit of weight to it. Um, and as you can see, uh, I've planted some squashes in here and these are for the same squashes. They are, my little label says, uh, they are the Pacific Giant Squash. Uh, so pumpkin-like. Um, hopefully uh, they will enjoy uh, the, the heat that will happen in this bed um, because obviously with the nettles uh, and the straw and everything there will be uh, some heat generated uh, from underneath. Hopefully these beauties will like it. That is another uh, very hot day today. And all the work I did this morning, I finished by about 10 o'clock and I went inside uh, so that I'm not out uh, in, the, in the full sun uh, of the day. Uh, but I wanted to just be able to show you uh, where I'd got to today. I'll continue uh, with the, the newest raised bed uh, when it gets a bit cooler this afternoon uh, and fill that up with compost. Uh, I have, <laughs> I've wetted this cardboard twice uh, the sun is drying out really quickly so I'll make sure I wet it again uh, before I put uh, an, a, a good thick layer of wood chips on it. As you can hear uh, my neighbours are strimming uh, and, and I guess we'll be making an equal amount of noise later on when Mr Joe gets home uh, and starts with some more weed whacking. Well that's it for me today, uh, I'm heading back inside now to make Mr Joe's lunch uh, to stay out of the sun uh, until it gets a little cooler and so wherever you are in the world and whatever you've got planned for today I hope it's a good one and also hope you'll join me again tomorrow <laughs>